Welcome. We are going to learn how to tune a VE table, aka the fuel table, from a data log. So the very first thing you need to do is go out and get a data log. The information we really need here is map RPM and air fuel ratio. So make sure you have a good AFR gauge installed, connected, and calibrated correctly to your Megasquirt system and go get a data log. In my case, I'm trying to tune this lower load, low RPM area where when you're cruising around, sometimes you can get bucking and surging when you're driving. It makes for an unpleasant experience. In my experience, a uh, make or break for a tune is if you have a smooth, good transient drivability, especially at low loads, which is kind of a difficult area to tune. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna drive around in this area and try to touch this part of the map as much as possible while driving and getting a data log. And I have done just that. So after you've got a data log, let's jump over to Megalog Viewer and take a look. So now we're in Megalog Viewer. All you need to do is go File, Open, and then find the data log that you want and hit Open. After you hit Open, we now have this data log of the information that we need to tune. The next thing that we want to do is go over to scatter plots and make sure that you have one map showing here. If yours has two, you can go down here in the bottom right and just click this top left corner and it will give you one graph. It loads in just like this. Make sure that you have RPM on the X axis, map on the Y axis and AFR on the Z axis. And this will give you all of the data points from driving around in that data log. My data log is only a little under two minutes long, so there are not many values in here. Uh, nevertheless, this is exactly what we need to tune. Over here on the right, you can see that this is a scale from 10 to one AFR all the way up to 18.5 AFR in this range. Over on the right, we need to filter this data because we don't want to use garbage data or data that is irrelevant while we're trying to tune. And there are some defaults in Megalog Viewer that make this really nice. AFR out of range basically gives you a limit from anything over 18 AFR and down to about 10 AFR. If your AFR gauge gives a reading that's like a 19 or a 21 or a nine to one, this will change this will get rid of those data points. And we can go in and adjust these in a minute. The next one is if your engine happens to be cold during the data log, we wanna throw that out because it might have uh, different multipliers affecting it for the uh, warm up enrichment. And then idle, if we're not trying to tune the idle areas, we can turn that one on. As well as transients, this gets rid of any data in and out of the throttle and it could change dramatically with the air fuel ratio. Sometimes when you blast the throttle, there's like an 18 to one just for a second while that initial rush of air goes across the air fuel ratio sensor. And we wanna get rid of that as well as this other one that I have made that's a custom data filter called start up and warm up. So I can show you how to make this as well, but this just gets rid of any data that is when the engine is cold and or in the first few seconds of the engine starting in that time where it would have multipliers from warm-up enrichment and startup enrichment being applied to it. Now that we have this out of the way, we can go over to our histogram table generator. In here, we also need just one map. The x-axis needs to be RPM, y-axis is map, and z-axis is AFR. Now you can see in this short data log, I only have data that goes up to full throttle around uh, 190 kPa because I'm at higher altitude, I don't reach 100 kPa. Uh, it didn't go above about 3100 RPM. So this is just those transient zones you can see. This uh, AFR up here you can see is very lean and this will give you kind of a bucking, surgy, lean condition where it makes the car unpleasant to drive. And this is exactly the area that I am trying to tune. Well, typically you could go in here by hand while the, while the car is driving, watching the air fuel ratios and just add or take out fuel, depending on what you need to do to get this to closer to stoichiometric, which the gasoline that I use has 10% ethanol, so it would need to be about 14 to one to give a good stoichiometric value that would make this run very well. How are we going to tune from this data log? Well, it's actually simple. 
we are just going to use a calculated field, a custom field that takes this value, takes the AFR, compares it against a target AFR that we would like. In this case, it would be 14 to one, tells us how much fuel to add or take away to reach that target. The first thing I would do is come up here and say, in the field name, make, making a custom field, is I would say 14 to one A AFR multiplier. That's just the name of the field that we're going to look for when we change the Z axis over here. And then the next part, I'm just gonna copy and paste this in and you can do the same. Let me make this nice and large if the font will get any bigger, but basically it's saying if AFR divided by 14 is greater than 1.1, then 1.1 and if AFR divided by 14 is less than 0.9 give back 0.9 it's giving us a range of a multiplier for comparing against 14 to 1 and you can change this number so say you came in here and you said 13 13 and 13 then that would change it to 13 to 1 as our comparison and you could change this up here and make multiple custom fields but for now we're just going to leave this at 14 to 1 air fuel because that's what my target is. I want to be around stoic and so we'll just hit OK. Just use AFR as our logic field. I'm just going to reload the map here and then over here on the z-axis we're going to choose this 14 to 1 AFR multiplier and now that we choose this you can see the numbers on the map have changed and what this is actually telling us is the percentage that we either need to add or take away to be at 14 to 1 AFR. So if we go back to AFR, you can see here we're actually rich. So 11.3, and then you watch that same cell at 1800 and, and then 30 kPa. And we go back and it says 0.91. So what that means is since a uh, stoichiometric would be one in this case, if we compared this value of 11.30 AFR to 14 to one, where our target is for this custom field, uh, that would give us 9% 9% more fuel than we need. So we could take 9% out here, uh, for example. However, this area is where we need to adjust. So we, we would come in here, let's just take for example, so let's just take for example, 1480 KPA. This is telling us that we need to add 5%. If you take this 1.0, essentially, you can just disregard those in your head and look at the end value and think, oh, this is 5%, this is 4%, this is 3% additional fuel. And then down here, you need to count up to what one would be. So 92 minus 100 is eight. And so that's 8% more rich. Let's go take a look at our map now. So if we go at 1480, we go back over to the map and roughly in this area, 1480 kPa is right in here somewhere. And it blends between a few cells, so you'll have to change a few cells at a time to make this happen. If we look right here, this whole line of 80 is roughly off 5%. These are off 4%, but we could just say from 500 up to 2000 at 80 kPa, we could just add 5%. We would come in here, grab these values, go over to the right up here where it says scale by, click that, just enter that multiplier. So 1.05 would give us 5% more. Now watch these numbers on the VE table as I click OK, and you can see they've increased, and the beginning value was 57, this beginning value was 54, and so on. This is an easy way that you can go in, tune if you have a data log. So if you're not wanting to use auto-tune or the other features like that that are live, you can go out and drive, come back in the comfort of your desk, on your laptop and just make little adjustments like this. Go out, reload the tune and give it a shot. I hope this helped and I would like to give credit to Andy Whittle. He has made a video very similar to this that I wanted to try my hand at and give him credit for such good information on these Megalog viewer tutorials. If you have any questions, post them below. I can share my experience and try to help you out get your car tuned. If you're not a member, please consider becoming a member and subscribing to the channel if you like what we do here. Thank you.